Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, the J-Man, and I'm back here today with a brand new customization video. And boy, do we have a lot to go over. The first thing you notice right in front of everything else are my two Trish Dress figures, the Elite 88 and this basic WrestleMania one. Now, what I plan on doing is a head swap, if that wasn't already obvious, but I may go one or two steps further. I want to put that hair on this head. I'm not sure if it's possible. I mean, it's possible, but I'm not sure if it's possible for me without screwing it up. That's why I actually have an additional Elytra Stratus as a backup. And I may alter her shirt a little bit because I hate it when they just paint over the belly button. It just looks weird. So there's that. Next, if you remember in my last video, I talked about Reckoning and I'm gonna make an elite Mia Yim. So what I plan on doing is a head swap, naturally. I wanna take this sash belt, put it on this one. And if it's possible to put these basic legs on this body, I'm also gonna try to put a hat and maybe a bandana around her face and add a vest, if possible, to this figure, not this one. Over here we have one of my extra Britt Bakers. It's missing its head. Now, since I have an extra one of these figures with this jacket, I wanna to try to crop this jacket to make it look like the one she currently wears. Maybe try to add some brighter colors, like a brighter silver, and give her her belly button piercing, if possible. And lastly, I have a plethora of Baileys. Now, what I want to do is take this basic SummerSlam's head and put it on this body, which I already customized, and take this basic head and put it on this body. Because we never got an elite of this face on an elite body. So I'm going to move that head, that shirt, to that figure, and I'm not too fond of the elite head that came in this. So I want to put one of her Eel Bailey heads on this elite body. And I think it will be perfect. Some of these customs may take longer than others. But I think they'll all turn out just right. But before I get started, two things. One, here's a freebie right now. I just recently got this custom shirt. For my customized Sasha Banks figure. This is when she wore the Tribute Eddie Guerrero attire. And I just added the shirt. Now doesn't that look awesome? In case you're not aware, this is the WrestleMania 35 Elite Sasha Banks. I swapped out the head and that's pretty much all I did to this figure. But I think it looks fantastic. And there was going to be another custom figure to do. It would have involved the Elite Series 92 Scarlet. I was going to head swap that with her basic because the face is very off and this face is better in my opinion. But unfortunately, it's a day or two away from coming here. So that will not be included in this video. But when I do get it, it will be in a separate video. Unless I'm still editing this one, in which case it will be part of this customization video. So let me get started. I will see you all very soon. Here is a quick update of what I've done so far. The Bailey's heads have been switched. Let's take a quick look at that. Unfortunately, it looks like near them have a neck. You look at to the side, yes. Full on, no. But still, I prefer these two heads with no neck than this head with. And unfortunately, these heads will not fit on those pegs. Now on to the Trish Stratus custom. Here she is with no hair on. Ironically, when I removed the hair off of this Trish Stratus, it came off like butter. But when I removed the hair from the original Trish Stratus, first of all, the head cracked. Second of all, look at that. Ugh. Apparently, they don't use the same formula anymore, or at least on elites. 
basics look the same in terms of how they apply the hair. It came off for the most part whole, except for these two holes right here. Now I'm going to try to fix this as best I can with some epoxy clay and hopefully it'll turn out all right. I'd rather have the damage in the back than in the front. Now I can't really apply the hair right now because I have to dremel this down. But if you look real closely, you can only imagine how awesome that's gonna look. Now that looks like classic Trish Stratus. Next we have Britt Baker's entrance jacket. I did cut it up, so now it looks more accurate to what she wears nowadays. I'm still gonna try to paint or color this, but otherwise this one's pretty much finished. And now last, Mia Yim. I'm really proud how this turned out so far. The head fits on great. Now I couldn't switch out the legs, but I did switch out her lower feet. I was gonna at least give her the boots, but upon closer inspection, that would have made her too short. So instead, I gave her Emma's boots right there. And you can see I gave her her legs. Now, I may have a pair of cloth fabric pants to give her to help compensate for this. And I still have to give her a, a vest, a hat, and a bandana scarf. But other than that, this is definitely looking more like Mia Yim and less like Reckoning. And the accessories that I will use to make it awesome. Now let me get back to further customizing all of these figures. I was able to remove that paint over here. It was very hard to remove it. As you can see, it's not perfect. It looks like she had, it's not perfect. I wish it came out better, but I was able to give her a piercing. Here's the back and ugh, I don't like this, but it's gonna be covered up, so it's not bad doesn't bother me too much. So now on to the accessories. Here's the hat. It was from an old John Cena figure. The vest here was from the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. I just cut part of it off. The pants, don't remember. The sash belt, which is from the basic. The bandana here, I took from an old Tensai Elite helmet. I cut it out and I took one of the bands from the Lita top, you know, the white one, and I glued it on, and it does fit. And you'll see that at the end of the video. And done. Whew. This took a very long time, but I'm glad it's finished. And look how great these look. So let's take a closer look at each one. Let's start off with Britt Baker. In hindsight, this was kind of pointless because the Supreme edition of Britt Baker's coming. But for now... This is a decent placeholder until I get the Supreme Edition. Finally in her back, you can see her navel piercing, painted. I cropped the jacket. And as you saw in the pictures, after I painted it and sealed it, the paint cracked. It peeled off like snakeskin. So I had to improvise at that point. So what I did was I peeled it all off. Unfortunately, some of it still remains, like right there. But I just sealed the jacket itself with glossy Mod Podge. And I put the extra Blood and Guts head on for a comparison. Here's the original release. No changes compared to what I did. And here's the back. Next, the Bailey figures. 
Here's the Survivor Series Bailey with the modern head. And here's the Survivor Series Bailey body with the last classic Bailey head. Gave her the shirt. And I even gave her new boots. These are from her Elite 80 figure. The reason why I gave her these is because mostly the contrast with this one. And because I'm working on another custom as we speak for a future video. Unfortunately, her head is kind of big, especially compared to this one. But with the shirt on, it kind of hides that. Next up, Mia Yim. Not bad, right? What do you guys think? The head baddie is back being in charge. Next up, Scarlet. And voila. This was very hard to do, all that sanding. But I think Scarlet came out great. In my opinion, this basic is better. I even went over her entire body with glossy Mod Podge just to make it look like it's made of latex rather than just flat black. And last, but definitely not least, Trish Stratus. As you saw from the pics, this one had to be salvaged. I couldn't do the hair swap with this head. It just caused way too many problems. It just wasn't working out. So what I did was I just put the better head on this body. And of course, I cropped her shirt. Gave the illusion that she tied it like she sometimes does. And put the hat on. Although the hat does sit a little low on her head. I still think it's an improvement. And I do love how this Trish Stratus figure looks. And here are all the leftover parts. And that is it for my customizations of these figures. Tell me, what do you guys think? And out of all of these, which one is your favorite and why? Leave it down in the comments below. But until the next customizations I do, and trust me, I'm currently working on more. I will see you soon. J-Man, out.